As the rest of mankind emerges slowly from prehistory, the hidden people of Atlantis enjoy an already ancient civilization, rich in wonder and sophistication. Since the beginning of time, the moon goddess, Amu, has ruled over all things, attended by her consort, Sa'at, the sun god. As it is above, so it is below. From her palace on Atlantis, Queen Rhea rules over an island of peace and plenty, where the seasons come and go, yet time seems to stand still. Creon has been her consort for six years, and in accordance with custom, his position will be challenged a year from now. Seth, the hero of our tale, is traveling to the palace, where he will join the select band of Queen's companions. Although he doesn't know it, Seth is destined to face ancient mysteries and grave dangers. An adventure whose outcome may well decide the very fate of Atlantis. This is where I leave you. The companion's quarters are easy to find. Go in Amu's light. to the companion's quarters? Go up the steps and ask the guards near the pool. Are you a companion? No, boy. We're members of His Highness the Consort's Honor Guard. Is Her Majesty in the palace? Not today, lad. Where is the Queen's Consort? His Highness is in the palace. Tell me where the companions' quarters are. You have business in the palace? I've been chosen for the Queen's companions. Any proof of that? Go up the steps and take the first door on the left. trying to get to the companion's quarters. You just found them. Are you looking for somebody? Not especially. I've been selected to serve as a companion. My name's Seth. Welcome, Seth. I'm Ubi with you. I'm Agatha. Is it possible to visit the palace? Her Majesty's missing. Missing? What do you mean, Lasquid? She was on the coast road with some companions, and they were attacked. Amu, um, who attacked them? Nobody knows yet. All the companions with her were killed. Joris? Mena? Kino? All dead. And the Queen? Gone. The consort's men are investigating. 
and all Queen's companions are requested not to interfere. I'll see you later. You around here, eh? Give me some wine. Get your own wine, friend. You don't know who you're talking to, boy. Is that supposed to make a difference? Why don't you get out, Neljans? I'll remember you. I'm going. Just remember the consort's orders. Stay out of the investigation. You were right to stand up to that bully, Seth. Why should the consort's men investigate the Queen's disappearance? We're Her Majesty's companions. We have a duty to do something. You're right, sir. One of us should go to the scene of the attack and find out what happened. Who'll go? Why not you? You handled that bully Meljans, and it was your idea we should do something. Will you do it? Yes, I'll go. Where exactly did the attack take place? I don't know. She was touring the whole island, so it could have happened anywhere. You'll have to find that out. Go now, Seth. I'm will be with you. Pardon me, I'm trying to find out what happened to the Queen. Who are you, laddie? Seth, I'm a Queen's companion. I'm investigating Her Majesty's disappearance. A Queen's companion, eh? I heard tell it was only the Consort's men who were investigating. That's true, but I am a companion. Disobeying orders. That's what you say, laddie. I've already been questioned by the soldiers. I can't help you. So, you are a companion. Those consort men have been pestering me with questions I wouldn't give them the time of day. But a loyal Queen's man, that's different. Come with me, lad. I was out fishing when it all happened, so I don't know anything about it. But before those guards on the road came along, I took a look at the place where the Queen was attacked, and I found this. 
Looks like an earring. Have you ever seen an earring like this before? Can't say I have. The workmanship is good. What's your name? My name is Actian. I'm a fisherman. Who would want to take Queen Rhea? Can't think of anyone. Maybe they came in boats from another land. Mm, could be. But I didn't think there were any people who knew about Atlantis apart from the Atlanteans. And I didn't notice any strange boats. His Highness the Consort might learn something from the earring. Maybe so. Then again, he might prefer not to. That's a strange thing to say. After all, he sent his men to investigate. You're probably right, laddie, but it's no secret that Creon listens to the priests of Sa'at. And they're not Rhea's most faithful subjects. The priests are not loyal? Not since they got their new high priest, Gimbas. And Her Majesty declared that Amu would always take precedence over Sa'at. The moon has always been queen of the sky, and the sun her consort. As sure as day follows night. But the priests would have it the other way around. <laughs>